Hello and welcome to the Cosmos Observatory. I'm a volunteer here at uh, this wonderful play equipment I can use uh, to test out stuff um, such as, for instance, this uh, phone adapter. This is uh, a phone adapter by Move Should Move and uh, I'm going to try and uh, mount this on the eyepiece and then mount my phone on it and then I am going to try and see if I can picture something with it. But uh, let's see what's in the box. First of all, uh, a little remote control that connects using Bluetooth to the phone and that way you can just simply press a button and take a picture without having to touch the phone. I think that's awesome. There is even a manual, but uh, I'm Dutch. Apparently Dutch people never read manuals. <laughs> it comes in a nice uh, cloth bag and this is it. It's very similar to many other um, eyepiece adapters. Uh, it has a clamp which goes around the uh, eyepiece. This is a 2 inch eyepiece so I probably need to turn it quite a distance. But the special thing with this eyepiece adapter is that it also has screws over here to move the phone holder up and down and screws over here which move it left and right. And that makes it possible to accurately position the eyepiece adapter or specifically the phone to the uh, to the eyepiece. And now it is securely fitted. Oh yeah, and there's even a third axis. You can also move the phone up and down from the eyepiece. So let's try how it fits. And then uh, if it clears up tonight, and I hope it does, I'll try to image something through this telescope. Which is, by the way, a Celestron 14-inch Smith Cassegrain telescope, the Edge HD. Uh, people who watched my channel before know that I have a nine and quarters inch uh, at home. Um, so this is the bigger brother. I'll see you when it clears up. If it clears up, it is somewhat clear now. So we're going to try and image something with the adapter. I have no idea what I'm doing, okay? Probably this is not the best idea to do it like this. Let me put on the big lights and then hopefully I can see something else. Let's rotate the dome a bit. I think this white circle here is the uh, actual image. So now I can move it. Yeah, this is what I want. Let's see if we can find a nebula. That would be the coolest. I guess I need to move the camera again. Here we go. Almost like life stacking.
So I guess this works really well. So, I think this is a success. Um, if you have a telescope with eyepieces and only a smartphone, this adapter allows you to take astrophotography through a telescope with relative ease. I think it's an added value that you have this uh, remote control option. Um, Depending on your telescope, you can then create pretty nice images. I think this kind of imaging only is suited for the very bright targets, um, as your phone is probably not able to take images longer than 30 seconds, but you might have other apps that you can use which allow longer exposures and more control of the camera. So. I think you can get pretty awesome results with an adapter like this and a smartphone through a nice telescope. If you have a, a normal astronomy camera, then obviously you can take way better images with that. But if you want to use a smartphone, then you need a way to attach it to your telescope. And this is, I think, one of the best ways to do it. So, thanks for watching, see you next time.